Hey everyone, this is Angel from Avex Gaming with a brand new video for Yakuza 7. If this is useful, don't forget to leave a like or check the playlist right here for more videos of the game. In this video, I am going to give you a guide on everything you need to know about forging weapons and armor in Roman Factory, so if you're curious about anything in specific, like where to find rare materials, be sure to hop to the specific time in the video. Very early in the game you will be introduced to the Roman factory and since that moment you will be able to upgrade weapons, craft weapons, craft gear or donate to upgrade the factory. Let's start with the latter. The Roman factory has a total of 4 different levels that will enable you to craft better weapons and gear. You start at level 1 and to upgrade each level you need to invest a specific amount of money. For level 2, 200,000 yen. For level 3, 2 million yen. And finally, for level 4, 20 million yen. To farm money for every level, I suggest that you tackle the company minigame for which I have a very easy to follow guide here in the YouTube card in the top right corner or in the description and comment section of this video. Now let's take a look at creating and upgrading weapons. As you unlock new levels in the Roman factory and new jobs in the Haruwako office, you will be able to create new gear and weapons from scratch using these two menus. The menu will display on the top all of your allies' jobs, along with an All and Others option. Cycling through each one of those with the L1 and R1 button, you will be able to see which weapons you can craft for a specific job. On the right, you will see a description of the weapon, its stats, who can wield the weapon, what job does it belongs to, and if there are any special effects or status that it has in battle. If you have a stronger weapon or weaker weapon equipped at the moment, you can see how this will affect your character stats or press the R2 button for a full breakdown on each stat. On the bottom left corner you will see the necessary materials, the Roman factory level and the money required to create the weapon. The same thing applies when creating pieces of gear and upgrading weapons, with the only exception that the weapon that you are seeing in the right will be the result of the upgrade of the weapon selected on the menu on the left. Once you find something that you want to upgrade or create, just press the X button and you are done. As a quick tip, remember that you can access any time on any point of the game the Roman Factory smartphone app where you can see all the progress that you have made with your weapons and which materials do you need, so that way you don't have to be visiting all the time the Roman Factory just to know which things you can create right now. Now let's get to the messy part of crafting, where to find upgrade materials. Many of these will drop after each fight that you engage in, but I'm going to talk to you about where you can buy all of them in the map. In the Welcome Drugstore, you can buy Attack Zero and Sediment Super X adhesives. At the very top of the map, in the Yokohama Park area, in this aqua truck next to the dragon cart, you can buy all kinds of rarities for wood, cloth, wire, iron, nails, lead, steel, glass, plastic, aluminium, tungsten, belt, and leather. On the grass of the Yokohama Park, you can find all kinds of normal random box and on rare occasions, silver and gold ones. Normal bugs can be bought in the Can Survival minigame individually by 8,000 points each. Silver rocks can be bought in two different places, moths, butterflies, spiders and scorpions with the Jakusa secret vendor in this part of the map.
Silver mantis, dragonflies, stack beetles and rhinoceros beetles can be bought in the Shogi minigame shop by 3000 points each. Golden box can be obtained as additional rewards in the first 10 floors of the arena, which is open after you get to chapter 12. This is the video after the news news in the gift card in the top right corner. Hope you enjoy your news week. Peace. Other materials that you can get in the arena are high density heavy metal in floor 11. Silver bar in floor 12, gold bar in floor 13, pearls in floor 14, platinum ore in floor 16, ruby ore in floor 17, sapphire ore in floor 18, diamond ore in floor 19, and empty can of Asada candy in floors 21, 23, 25, and 27. And those are all of the crafting materials you will need to create almost any weapon and piece of gear in the game. And he said almost because there are some special Kiwami weapons, which are the pinnacle weapons for each job, that require you to have a specific weapon to do the upgrade. I am now going to enter into heavy spoiler territory, so if you don't mind spoiling yourself certain locations that unlock in the last chapters of the game, keep watching this video. But that's your spoiler warning. 3, 2, 1, let's go. The vast majority of these weapons used for upgrading to Kiwami weapons can be found as top rewards in different minigames in Ikincho and the Sotenbori Arena. Or, if you have a ton of money, and I'm talking about 10 million yen each weapon, you can buy each and every one of them in La Marche in Kamurocho. So now let's move on on where you can find all of these weapons to craft your Kiwami weapons. For the Mafia job you can find the crafting weapon in the 5th floor of the arena. For the Hitman and the Chef job in the 10th floor. For the Bar Owner job and the Host job in the 15th floor. For the Street Musician and the Detective in the 20th floor. For the Dancer, 22nd floor. For the Idol job in the 24th floor. For the Homeless job in the 25th floor, for the Night Queen job, 26th floor, and for the Hero job in the 30th floor. For the Dealer job, you can find the weapon as a top reward in the Secret Casino in Chinatown Battle. For Riot Control, you can find the weapon as a top reward in the Shogi minigame. For the Fortune Teller, you can find the weapon as a top reward with the Jagusa Secret Minigame Bender. For the hostess job, you can find a weapon as a top reward in the Can Survival minigame.
For the bouncer job, you can find the weapon with Kamuro the mascot inside the Blue Marino near Yokohama Park. You need to exchange 50 Toyo Clan emblems that you can find scattered all over Ijincho, Sotenbori, and Kamurocho. And for this one, I really recommend that you buy it in the March in Kamurocho and use your Toyo Clan emblems for two additional delivery help summons that unlock in the last chapters of the game. For the demon and elder sister, you only need crafting materials. There is no special weapon that you need to buy. For the cleric and demolition worker, I never managed to find them other than in La March. So in case someone wants to find those weapons, please share in the comment section down below. But I haven't seen them anywhere else in Jincho, Kamurocho, or Sotenbori. And that's basically it. That's all that I can share with you guys about crafting and upgrading weapons. Hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and keep enjoying Yakuza 7.